Uh, welcome to Winning in Life Daily. We are still here at Rizal High School campus in Manila, and I have my dear friend, Dr. Joey Castro, with us today. Uh, Doc Joey uh, is our pastor of the Victory Church that is just uh, uh, very close to Rizal High School here, and he's also the director of our life scholarship programs that enables some of the underprivileged students to get a university education. Uh, Doc, Doc Joey, after you and your wife were serving 10 years in the medical field and uh, now you're a pastor, what happened? What, what, what caused that? Well, I, I, I was just uh, leading small groups, cell groups all over the hospital and um, just got to meet a lot of people in Pasig, a lot of people who needed help and uh, we, we just saw our, our place in in helping them medically, giving um, food and supplies to them, and speaking God's word to them, and um, we know we didn't know what happened. We <laughs> we started uh, growing all of these cell groups, just people coming to God, and it's a church. All of a sudden, <laughs> Doctor Joey, your wife Tess is a doctor as well. So here here yes. you are, two medical doctors. Uh, working 10 years or so as doctors and now you sense this call to this area quite a big clinic here yes 25,000 students uh, how, do, how does that work what do you how are you meeting their their needs physically and spiritually well we really in this campus really we've um, we've just uh, befriended a lot of uh, young high school students and we we saw a lot of them sick, needed treatment, didn't have any medicine, didn't, didn't have any money to, to spend for consultations and stuff, and we just, we just helped them out. And, um, well, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's really a big clinic right here. That's a big great. clinic, right. Joey, Jesus said the harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few. And he saw that he saw the masses they were distressed downcast like sheep without a shepherd but Jesus saw what the natural eye would see as helpless and he called that a harvest talk about the potential here the leadership potential that you see even though kids are living below the poverty line what's the leadership potential that you've seen as these kids come to Christ and become awakened to God's purpose for them um, really when we when we get into classrooms and talk uh, destiny to the these kids we we saw a lot of potential these are brilliant kids a lot of them are uh, math champions uh, science quiz champions um, and uh, this you, this school is really filled with uh, um, champions writers singers a lot of athletes are here young young uh, budding artists, dancers, singers, a lot of them are here. Every, every facet of the arts and education are, there, there, uh, are in this campus. I think it's so critical to, to remember that the youth culture, not only here in the Philippines, but in America, all over the world is in jeopardy. The influences that they're facing are far greater than what we faced growing up. Uh, the right. pressure, what they see, the pressure to live and do everything that will end up destroying them spiritually. And Jesus said, pray for the laborers. Thank you for being a faithful laborer. And thank you for all of you out there that uh, are saying, well, what, what ministry do I have? Well, the ministry you have is wherever God's called you, whether it's to be a teacher, whether it's to be a businessman or businesswoman, a political leader, is to show Christ's love and light. And we just honor you, Doc Joey, for what you've done, your wife Tess, you. and for all the laborers that are doing work for Christ all around the world.